Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a very simple AI for your game. This AI is basically just going to stand there in place but most importantly we are going to be able to shoot at him and when we do shoot him it is going to reduce his health and when it gets down to zero it's going to destroy the actor and the AI is just going to disappear. So it's really simple uh, setup and it's something that we're going to be working on over the next few videos is getting the character to move, shoot at you, and all of that good stuff. So what I'm going to start off by doing then is right clicking in my content browser, creating a new blueprint class for this AI. So the type that I'm going to work with is going to be simply just a character. And then this character, I'm just going to name it simple AI and just leave it at that. Open it up give it a couple of seconds to load up and then from there what we can do is start putting the mesh in for the character now what I'm gonna do for this mesh is I'm just going to use the standard mannequin so go ahead and select your mesh in the components panel on the top left here go to skeletal mesh and then the one that you're after is going to be um, this one here so game anim starter pack UE4 mannequin mesh once you drop that in there just go ahead and place him all the way down to the bottom of your capsule component here make sure his feet are at the very bottom and if you can as well just try and scale him down and make sure he's within this little capsule otherwise it's just not great for collision and stuff and you also want to make sure you rotate him so he's facing the direction of this arrow here so if you have to to make it nice and easy just turn on your rotation snapping and then just rotate it 90 degrees this way and that is pretty much our basic AI character now as of right now he doesn't really have a animation blueprint if you wanted to you could set one up for him um, or you could use one of the pre-built ones so for example there should be in one in here for the Adam starter pack somewhere so let's see if we can find this and we don't seem to be able to find it and the reason why is because we've got the wrong mannequin so the mannequin you want to use is this one here the normal game mannequin mesh and then with this set your anim bp to third person underscore anim bp and you can see suddenly he comes to life and he starts moving now we're not going to be making any changes to this animation blueprint for the time being for now all we want our ai to do is simply just idle and that is it so what we want to do now then is pretty much just place him in our scene just to make sure that he's going to stand there he doesn't move and there's any and there's nothing like that so i can see our animations are playing on our ai character and i'm pretty happy with that so what i'm going to do now then is i'm going to set up the ability for this to take damage and also for it to have health I'm not going to worry about, about it having ammo or anything like that so simply open up this blueprint that you've just created for him simple ai in the top here press open full blueprint editor so you can actually get into the script view of this and then what you want to do on event actor begin overlap the other actor being the projectile you're essentially going to tell it to take some damage so what we're going to do is simply cast to projectile and the one we're after is called projectile underscore base that's the one that we created earlier on in the series here which is this little tic tac looking shell that we've got anyway so back into this what we're going to do as projectile base if it collides with this character we want to tell it to take away some health we don't currently have a health variable so in the bottom left here we are going to go ahead and create one so for the variable just simply call this health in the bottom left and then for the variable type in the top right set this to a integer value or sorry even a float value so that it's a numerical value as opposed to just sort of on and off like it would be with a boolean Anyway, default value, you want to set this to 1. This is essentially going to be your 100% health. 0 being, um, you know, no health at all, 0 0.1 being 10%, 0 0.2 being 20%, and so on and so forth. So the maximum is 1 for this. So what we're going to tell it to do, first things first, is I'm actually going to tell it to print a string just to tell me that it's actually hit the character. And this is the simplest way to test this. So before I do any of the health stuff, press play shoot at your little AI character here and uh, if we can hit him so let's, let's get nice and close you can see at the moment it's not doing anything and the reason why it's not doing anything is because it needs to overlap so open up your projectile base go to your static mesh 
go to components and then for the overlap uh, for the collision set this to overlap all that way it's going to generate overlap events and then go ahead and do the same thing inside of your AI as well so go to viewport select your mesh scroll down and then all the way at the bottom here we want to make sure it generates overlap events so hit compile now hit play and then hopefully if we shoot this guy you can see it's now generating those hit events and that's pretty much the basics of our firing and damaging system so what we need to do now then when it's being hit we need to tell it to take away some of that health and if the health gets below zero destroy that actor so open up your simple AI from here what you're gonna do is simply get health and then also we want to set health and then what we're going to do is simply float minus float so that we can take away from the original value and the amount we're going to take away is going to be this value here so each shot I'd say we want it to take away 10% 10% being 0.1 0.1 being 10% of the maximum value which is 1 so once that's done it's going to take away some of the health what we need to do now then after that is run a branch check to see if the health has now gone below zero, that being, you know, the player being dead. So get a reference to health, for the condition, type in float, less than or equal to, and then hook A up into here, and then B is gonna be zero. So what this is gonna do now then is return true if the health has gone below zero. If the health has gone below zero, we are going to tell it to destroy the actor. And then if it's false and it hasn't, we don't want it to do anything. We want the character to be able to stay there and take some more damage. So let's test this out. Hit compile, close this up, press play. And then if we aim at our guy, shoot him a couple of times, 10 times and he disappears there. And that is perfect. That is pretty much the basic AI for our game. You can shoot him, you can kill him. There's still loads more for us to work on, things like impact effects, getting the AI to walk around with a gun, shoot at you, and all that good stuff. But for today's video, it was just simply setting up the AI and getting you able to kill him. Anyway, guys, that's everything for today's video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.